Starting in two hours, Middle Tennesseans will unite to support the nonprofits that make a difference in our communities. Get ready for the 24-hour giving frenzy known as the Big Payback. New at 10, News Channel 5's Emily Luxon joins us from the newsroom to explain how we can all get involved. Well, that's right, and this is the website you'll want to keep an eye on throughout the day, thebigpayback.org. This is where you can go on and make a donation and also track what other donations have been made. And organizers say they are already gearing up for a very busy day. Community foundations ever speak. Phones have been ringing off the hook at the Community Foundation of Middle Tennessee. Just FYI, I'm going to bring it tomorrow. It's all because of the second annual Big Payback. What we are looking for is for people to step up and invest in the nonprofits that make this the place that we all want to live. The organization is encouraging people to donate to 755 nonprofit groups from 34 Middle Tennessee counties by simply clicking a mouse. This has attracted organizations that are traditional nonprofits, that are religious institutions, that are schools. <laughs> Like last year, participating nonprofits will be out around town throughout the day, encouraging people to support their work. It's uh, a lot of fun, it's exciting, and we want to be able to donate to this cause. Organizers say the big payback is a great, easy way to give back during a month when people typically don't donate. Every single person in Middle Tennessee has benefited from the work of nonprofits, and it is time for them to pay those nonprofits back for the uh, the work they have done, the way they have enhanced their lives. As the clock counts down to midnight, organizers and participants are anxious to build on last year's success. We are expecting this to be bigger and better than ever. It all gets started at midnight and will continue for 24 hours. In addition, there will be 35 events throughout the day tomorrow, including a kickoff party at Bridgestone Arena from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. If you'd like more information on the event or anything else going on tomorrow, just log on to newschannel5.com and click on news links. Rory, back to you. Emily, thanks. Last year's inaugural event raised almost one and a half million dollars for local nonprofits and organizers hope to raise even more this year.